Oh. It is Gary versus Shelter. Okay, okay. So if Shelter rolls him here, it's our confirmation that he was going a secondary earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but I trust in Gary. I mean, Gary's guaranteed top four right here. So yeah, Gary yeah. has been doing really good. He, like, like we said, he beat Daniel, mm -hmm, like we predicted. Mm -hmm. He already beat Shelter earlier. We did watch him get rolled by Mumon, unfortunately, <laughs> but... Uh, I mean, a Shelter wins, I'm going to scoff at. Winner of this will play Mumon, and winner of that plays AK. So, we are our, our normal top three plus Gary. Yeah. And it's only Wait, so 7.30. The, uh, yeah, that's right. We watched the Shelter be Gary. Wait. Okay, we are Palu posting. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'll restate for the VOD. Yep. Gary beat Shelter earlier. Yep. I believe it was 2-0. Maybe yes. it was 2-1. It was 2-0. But it was the top eight qualifier. Yep. We have a bit of a theory that Shelter was playing a random secondary because he likes to do that before top eight. <laughs> but we don't know for sure. Uh, he likes to do that. Gary went on to kind of get rolled by Nemon, but yeah. since then has been on a really good run up to here. Well, actually, I guess the said run is just beating Daniel, but Daniel's really good. Daniel was really good. Beat Moment. So. And, I mean, this is looking not even, but, like, definitely competitive. Yep. So, I don't know. It's it definitely seems... possible that Gary did 2-0 Shelter's normal characters earlier. Gary's, like, getting the combo starters. Yeah. Uh... And he's following up a bit definitely, easier. Definitely got some room to breathe that he didn't right. feel at this moment. Or Mewmon. Yeah. Shelter. Just tell me if you chill with that. Shelter. Takes his, take, a little bit, takes his time. <laughs> I like getting off the platform there. Have those grounded options aren't great. And so you don't really want to go for the, the platform. Kind of things. Mm. Ooh, good ledge trapping yep, going, Gary. Yep. Oh, no. Ooh. Makes it back, though. We're okay. He covers himself. All right. Okay. I feel that. <coughs> Sometimes yeah. when the counter comes out, you just think, okay, if the if I've seen the counter come out and I haven't hit yet, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> then you'd hit the counter regardless. Yeah. Good or even, awesome. uh, what went in my head was that, like, Shelter hit his shield. And it would be easy to hit something that's unsafe, and so the instant, like instinct, is to nair. Oh, he's definitely going for some shield. Posts yeah. There. Also, we, if you have fastball on that, we talked over a minute ago. Gary kind of SD. He went for the tether to ledge, and he was a little too far, so he zared instead. Yeah, I saw and that. So then he just wasn't able to up the time. And it didn't shelter punish it a bit. I think so. I think he tried to go out there, but I don't know if he actually hit. Okay. Was just like, yeah, you can't do much. That actually might be part of the reason Ooh. that Zare came out. Yep. It might not be a distance, it might be because there's a person there. I'm yep. not sure how tethers work. That really point. good holding center for sh from Shelter right there. Yeah. And also, like, realizing that... That's that, a weird okay. way to do that combo. Not to, not to backseat someone who actually makes this <laughs> character, but... Landing fair to OB does not seem like the following. I would change that. Come to me for coaching, Gary. Fifty dollars <laughs> an hour. Metify is uh, Metify <laughs> dodgy G slash. Uh, Tilde actually. It's Tilde. My, it's uh, my alter alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. That other guy is fake. We're keeping these stocks even. <laughs> Through the mom himself and then do it. Okay, well. Okay. That's a <laughs> shelter. Kind of. I think he kind of just covered center stage and was a good job of like realizing when Gary wanted to throw his projectiles yeah and like and almost anti-projectile him because he used counter as not just a like you're not gonna hit me i'm gonna hit you it was also like you can't throw projectiles because i'm gonna reflect them yeah i'm gonna reflect them i'm going to use my neutral b on you before it comes out yep and then like he would do that and he'd get like three or four hits on gary yep. and then eventually after those three four hits gary would choose an option that gets him in exactly but like on a long enough timeline that just leads to shelter having way more damage than you do. yep so he just doesn't have to. That's it. Gary's last two moves between the last two games have been throwing a bomb at his feet and hitting himself. <laughs> I don't know what his strategy with that is. Or something. Maybe his controller's broken I still. Mean... <laughs> he, he needs to reset it again. Is he just thinking of the strat? You can't combo me if I'm too high. If I'm, if I'm already in hit, you can't hit me again. It's exactly. <laughs> it's double jeopardy. Oh. oh yeah. Tried to nerf that combo, it did not work. <laughs> I mean, 
I was going to say, before he died, percent wise, that was the same way last game started. That would have been a great dra down up there by Shelter. Sorry. Yeah. Said, no, I was. Just that it would have been great. Like, it, they're, they're going about at the same pace yeah. they were last game, except Shelter just found the kill earlier. Yeah. Which, I mean, it, it's not a bad thing because Gary was doing pretty good last game, mm -hmm. but it also implies that he's like not making any big changes that are going to help him. Gary is actually that game win. covering center a lot better. Yeah. Yep. There we go. That's a better follow up. Better really than good. my down suggestion. I'll pay you fifty dollars for coaching. <laughs> yeah, you see him. I think it's like a pretty common young link habit. But anytime he like has a second to breathe, he tries to go for that boomerang, mm -hmm. even if you know uh, his opponent is like already like sprinting at him. And you even saw him go for the combo. Like he thought he was gonna hit it. Yeah. Interesting. Like, the hitbox was just interesting. I, I it was like a weird plank. Hey, there, there we go. We went for the down tilt. Yeah, okay. So you've truly proven that I don't know your character. <laughs> Gary was, like, holding center, and then he slowly was moving up with his projectiles. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy yeah. moment. It's okay, he's, he's at 70. You can find this. Holding center really well, and then slowly moving up with his projectiles, and being able to get into shelter space like that proved pretty beneficial. I feel like Young Link has really nice grounded options. Right. As far as like down tilt and even like arrow and stuff can go. And Palu, I mean, her grounded options are fine, but they aren't nearly as good. Yeah. I wonder if trying to approach her in the air like this, with like approaching with Nair and sometimes Fair, is not the way to go about this matchup. I honestly kind of disagree <laughs> because the. Uh, like, that can get whiff punished. Palu wants to be in the air in a, a lot in the first place. Mm hmm. I think it's like mixing up between the two, but also that may just not be Gary's play style at this point. Ooh, that could have been a kill. But yeah, just like she can kind of wave punish a lot of it, and she wants you to get in the air yeah. to be able to nair you, so it, she punishes you. Well, that's what I'm saying, play on the ground instead. Right. Like, uh, I'm imagining a world where you play this like you're playing against a zoner, where you like walk and shield and walk and shield and slowly mm -hmm. get close to her, mm -hmm. and then do stuff like down tilt, or even nair then, mm -hmm. like, compared to just like trying to approach in the air with nair. But I agree that he is definitely in the air like too much. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, Gary, I, I will continue to smugly tell yeah, you how to sorry. play your character. <laughs> that is our job as commentators. And unless you're Otis, you're not going to tell us not to. <laughs> Ooh, I like that bomb. That was really good. And then Rang's got me. Rang always got me. Yeah, watch us like say all that, and now he's gonna do a bunch of grounded options. And... If he can keep this corner pressure. Okay. Um, yeah, corner pressure is hard to keep, especially against <laughs> someone like Palu. He was covering center so well. Oh. Um, yeah, I think he definitely improved that game of like covering center, but then I Shelter think... was able to like. It's like even when you can oh, cover no. center, right. it's not like Shelter's like desperate for center. Exactly. It's just like that's where the best spot to sit is when you're playing like Shelter, where it's like, I'm just going to stop out all of your approaches. Yeah. You or steal center, he's just like, okay, I'm going to play in the corner and stop out all your approaches because you're right. still approaching me right. at the end of the day. You still have to approach me. Shelter thinking of switching? I, I love the world where he's hovering up Pyramithra because I like to imagine that that's how Gary 2 owed him the first time as he played Pyramithra. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to, you know, cut. Cap I'm off a 3-0 by going back. I'm gonna come back. But I'm writing fan fiction at this point. <laughs> I still think Gary's gonna like do pretty well here. Though. Yeah. Like you said though, I do agree that both of those games were like they ended in a very close spot. Mm -hmm. Any 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 changes I'm like trying to suggest or throw out here are not like necessary crazy things he's doing wrong that he needs to start doing. I don't even It's like I'm just thinking out loud of like what? How do you solve this problem that is yeah. shelter? <laughs> how, how, what gives you the edge to turn that, you know, last stock at 100% to winning? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, even if, even if it's 3-0 but close, we're still, like, heading towards a 3-0. Except, we aren't really, because he does have to lead this game. Bomb? Okay, again, but what Gary is pressure. doing really amazing is, like, uh, being able to keep up his advantage state pretty well. At least I think so. I, I think he's doing decent, but he's not doing as good as he could. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to recognize that, you know, Shelter is a big fan of resetting and playing very defensive, mm -hmm. as, at least as Palu is. And so, like, a lot of the time, when you whiff a move, he's just going to press shield. 
and Gary's answer will try and be like, you know, he like comes at him with like Florida, right? And he crosses mm -hmm. up with it, and Shelter just holds shield. And he could turn around and grab, but instead he, you know, tries to back air, and, and Shelter just holds shield. Mm. Dead even, though. Yeah. Slight Gary lead by 6%. <laughs> Common Gary dub. Big Gary fans around here. I just don't know. About this genuinely might be a moment where I just don't know about much about Yanlin, but I feel like he's, he's, he tries to lean really hard on that man. In like a lot of spots where sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Mm. Like, a, like he uses it as a combo follow up sometimes. Like, he'll be like down to my arm. I don't know if that like, maybe works. I'm, I'm just, again, thinking out loud, just trying to figure out mm -hmm. what he's missing. What is the missing puzzle piece? Well, so, I can just say that Shelter is playing so clean this game. Yeah. Like, every single punish, every single aerial. Uh, and it's like. Shelter has an idea, has a feel down for her, knows when to counter and when not to. Yeah. At the end of the day, it could be, you know, nothing specifically wrong with the gameplay. It might just be mm. literally player of mine versus player of mine. Yeah. So he's getting the correct reads. But, I like, mean, yeah. It might not even be that much of a matchup thing. Oh, I caught the jump. No jump. Okay. Still magnet hand. Catch on the jump. You like it? Nice. Ooh, nice. Okay. Really, really good follow up there. I do love some of these one hit combos he's going for. Like one hit a bear, one hit an air. Like or one hit a forward air, sorry. Yeah. I really like how Shelter like there knows it is again. that kind of aggression. And again. Like I keep I said at the start of this game, it's the difference between three oh but close versus what is this missing puzzle piece to actually let you win this game. Mm hmm Cause it, it it's still extremely doable, but there's gotta be some some small change that gets you there. And we're looking to see if any of us will figure it out. Yeah. I don't Still quite think that'll kill, but... He's pulling the bomb to help his recovery a little bit, which I'm okay. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. I thought, he, I thought there was a bomb, downer. His own bomb kill sparked him. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I thought there was a downer from uh, from Shelter. I yeah. thought Shelter downered him, that, and that, then that's, that's the kill spark, and... No, it's that's, the bomb. That's very funny. Yeah, very winnable for Gary. Yeah, but again, I also do think Shelter was just playing really, really, really well. Of course, but Shelter's always playing. Actually, well, you 